If you say, well, we're, we've only been sophisticated for less than 6,000 years, then you go, oh, well, we're, we're quite a young, uh, you know, quite a young being then. But if you say, no, our ancestors go back 12, 15, or more thousand years, that knowledge gives you power as a human being, that our ancestors were incredible people, and that we can reinvent what they knew and take back our personal sovereignty. I think people are coming around to these understandings that, wow, that the past civilizations, the indigenous tribes that corporations and governments are trying to murder all around the planet right now have the wisdom to save the planet. And we should respect what people have done in the past and in some cases adopt exactly the way they've mm -hmm. done it rather than trying to tinker. They didn't all do it right, that's for sure. But we have to look at what they did right and we have to get out of the mess we're in. There seems to be today a tendency to reject or disrespect what our ancestors did, reinforce the necessity to remember our history. It's a huge puzzle, and no one person has all the pieces. For me, if I could just contribute one piece and keep putting it out there and keep putting it out until the right people get a hold of it, that's all that matters. Is it possible that by taking another look at our ancient past, we may have a chance to solve the problems of the future? In order to gather some information on our ancient history, our crew of five traveled to Peru, where we met with our guide and ancient technology expert, Brian Forrester. Brian took us to several locations around Peru that gave us great insight to the ways of our ancient ancestors.